So, quick question for you. What do these three golf swing images have in common? Stay tuned to find out the answer and how it's going to help you become both a better iron player as well as a better wind player. So if your answer was finished position or balance, you are correct. You know, when it comes to those three images and you take a look at how they were holding their pose in a nice balanced finished position, and they were holding this until that golf ball hit the ground. So when it comes to a balanced finished position in the game of golf and your, throughout your golf swing, um, this position is very underrated and it can create a lot of very good habits. Unfortunately, we don't see this happening a lot with golfers unless you go to a tour event and you watch the best players in the world. You walk up and down the driving range, you're going to see every single player there in this position. So if it's good enough for them, it's definitely good enough for us. So today, if you're struggling with your irons or if you struggle when it's windy out, I recommend evaluating your finished position. There's a couple things you want to look for. So if I'm hitting this direction towards the camera, number one for right-handed golfers, if I'm hitting towards the camera here and I finish this direction, I want to finish with my, my hips square to my target and I want 90% of my weight to be on my left side. So 10% is going to finish onto my, onto my right side here. Now from this position, if I'm hitting this direction, I'm going to take a swing back and swing through. And you can see here how my hips are square to my target. 90% of my weight's on my left side. Now take a look at my, my right side, my right foot. You can see how it's all the way up onto its toe. Now if you're in the correct position here, in a balanced position, you should be able to pick that back foot up and step towards your target with very little effort. If you're a golfer who has a tendency to finish with 70-80% of your weight on your back foot, it's going to take a lot of effort to get off of that right side and take a step towards the target. Okay, so the next time you're out on the driving range, you're out on the golf course, and you're looking to improve your irons, or you're looking to tame the wind, I recommend practicing and working on your finished position. It's going to affect not only your balance, but it's going to help you with your tempo, your rhythm, help you create more power. Okay, and the list goes on and on and on. So give that a shot, and I know it's going to help your game.